Welcome to Power Coat Music. In this presentation, we are going to do a comparison of the Zoom R24 and the Zoom R20 to see what makes these two products different. They're going to go head to head. In case you're not already aware, Zoom Corporation was started back in 1983 and specialized in producing products based on their own proprietary microchip designs. We all know since then Zoom has grown into a leading manufacturer of recording equipment, effects processors for guitars, audio for video products, and multi-effects processors. Now in this presentation, we're going to first look at an overview of the features of both the Zoom R24 and the R20, and then we're going to exploit and analyze the differences between the two units so that you can see which one may work best for your individual needs. This is not about what's cool or what's hot right now in the market, so please keep that in mind as we go through this presentation. Anyone interested in purchasing one of these two units should be aware of what they can do so that they can avoid buying the unit that may not work best for them. Now with this, I decided to take a closer look at exactly what the differences are between these two units and share the results. Now I say this all the time and I'm going to say it again because it's important. I strongly suggest that you know your requirements. Know what you need. Otherwise, you could waste money buying gear that you want or what other people say is cool as opposed to buying what you actually need. Many of us have been down that road. I know exactly how that feels. So know your requirements first because this is a key in meeting your objectives in purchasing or upgrading to a unit that best fits your production workflow. So with this, sit back, relax, grab your coffee and your tea and stay with me because we have a lot of good information to cover and you're not going to want to miss it, especially the information later in this presentation. Before we look at the summary and features of both the Zoom R20 and the Zoom R24, you may want to ask yourself the following questions first. <laughs> Number one. Do I need a hardware digital recorder with as many recording and playback tracks as possible? Number two, do I need a unit that I can take with me to record gigs and practices that can run on batteries for a time? Number three, do I need a compact digital recorder with as many features as possible, such as synthesizers, drum machines, and samplers, so I don't have to buy and learn a bunch of other products? Number four, do I work best with a touchscreen or do I prefer a unit with knobs, faders, and buttons? Number five, will I need a larger amount of SD card space for storage? If you're shopping for a new hardware multi-track digital recording unit or looking to make a change, then the answers to these questions will help you determine which unit may work best for you. Now, I chose the R24 and the R20 because their prices are comparable. The R24 retails for $499 new, and the R20 retails for $399 new. With this, it really comes down to what you need and how you work best. Let's start with an overview of the Zoom R24. Zoom R24 is a mobile and studio recording solution. Users have a choice to recording to SD cards of up to 32 gigabytes or connecting to a PC via USB and using it as an audio interface to record to a digital audio workstation. A mastering effect can be used as an insert effect on the mastering track before recording and to process the mix down. Now, the mastered file can then be saved to a PC via USB. Let's take a look at the Zoom R24's features. The unit can record up to 32 gigabytes using SDHC cards and has 8 tracks simultaneous recording in 48KHC or 44.1KHC at 16 or 24 bits. The unit is 6-channel simultaneous 48V phantom power supply uh, that's available and also 8-balance XLR quarter-inch combo inputs. 
The unit has 100 plus studio quality effects including guitar amp models and mastering effects and has auto punch in and out, track bounce, locate mark, undo and redo, as well as tuner and metronome functions. It also includes a four segment LED meter bridge and over four hours of operation using six AA alkaline batteries. The unit also has an AC adapter or adapter I should say included in case you need to plug it in. You can sync two R24s together via USB for a total of 16 tracks of simultaneous recording. And I've read online that some people have had some issues getting this to work. So if you have seen this in action, then chime in and let us know how it worked for you. The unit has high definition 24-bit 96KHC recording capability when using the digital audio uh, workstation software. And in this mode, it has 8 in and 2 out uh, via USB. The unit also has full mixing and transport controls for Cubase, Logic, Sonar, and other DAW software applications. You can also use the USB control surface functionality, uh, which use, utilizes the Mackie control emulation to make that happen. The pad sampler uh, is also a function that's included with the unit that includes 24 voices, that is eight pads with three banks of voices. The unit also includes a loop-based audio sequencer, which I think is very cool for a hardware multi-track uh, recorder. And um, the song data and WAV files can be copied and backed up to your PC via USB. And what follows now is the height, depth, width, and weight of the unit. Let's move on to an overview of the Zoom R20. The R20 is a 16 track recording interface, editing station, mixer, and effects application all together in one unit. The R20 has up to one terabyte of recording space using SD cards. Navigation and editing are a new experience using the R20 because it has a 4.3 inch LCD color touchscreen for its user interface. Now each track is color coded to match the corresponding channels and this makes mixing and editing a lot easier on the unit from a visual perspective. Also, it has a built-in drum machine and the ability to connect a USB MIDI keyboard to access the internal synthesizer. With this, you don't need a lot of other external gear to record your project. Let's check out the Zoom R20's features. This is a 16-track digital multi-track recorder, editor, and mixing workstation. It has a 4.3 inch color LCD touchscreen and per channel gain controls and faders are color coded to make sessions easier to navigate. The unit includes eight XLR channels with two of them housing the line inputs. Channel one offers high Z and channels five through eight offer 48 V phantom power. Voice over gestures create an easily accessible interface for those with visual impairments. A built-in drummer provides 150 rhythm and song formations in 30 different genres. The unit is USB MIDI compatible featuring 18 onboard synthesizer sounds. You can import MIDI files to add pre-recorded bass lines, effects, and other audio elements to your tracks. EQ, compression, and more comes standard and the MFX processor is even compatible with the Guitar Lab application, that is software application. So you can record directly to SDHC and SDXC cards with up to one terabyte of storage. Sold separately, you can get the BTA1 Bluetooth adapter that makes the R20 controllable via the Zoom wireless control app on your iOS device. The unit's height, depth, width, and weight are displayed. Now we reach what everybody's been waiting for, and that is the differences between the Zoom R24 and the Zoom R20. Now what we have here is a chart with three columns, 
And the first column is the specifications column. The second is the specifications for the Zoom R24. And the third are the specifications for the Zoom R20. Now, in the specifications column, which is the first column, all of the items listed here that have a yellow asterisk are going to be the differences in the comparisons between the R24 and the R20. So please keep that in mind as we go through the specifications list and we compare the two units. So we're going to start with the specifications column and the first is the first item I should say is the tracks. Zoom R24 has of course 24 tracks and R20 has 16 tracks. Next is simultaneous recording tracks. They both have eight. What follows is simultaneous play tracks. R24 has 24 uh, simultaneous playback tracks and R20 has 16. Next we look at the recording data format. And there's a big difference here. The R24 can record at both 44.1 KHC and 48 KHC. The R20's maximum recording is 44.1 KHC only. Next we have the audio interface functionality. The R24 uh, records at eight channels and has two playback channels and the bit rate is 24 bits. The R20 has eight recording channels and four playback channels and the bit rate varies. You can use uh, 16 or 24 bit. Next is the maximum recording time. The R24 has 24 minutes at the one gigabyte um, SD card limit. Next, we have the R20s, which when it comes to uh, maximum recording time, the minutes are unknown because it has a one terabyte limit at the SD card specification. So the R20 blows the R24 out of the water in this particular category. Next, we have the display. The R24 uh, has a 128 by 64 pixel LCD. And here is the big difference. The R24, I'm sorry, the R20, I should say, has a full color touchscreen LCD. So when it comes to the display, you have to decide how you want to work. Do you, are you a more hands-on person? Do you want to use knobs and faders? Or do you prefer the more cell phone-like interface with the touchscreen? So there's a huge difference there. It's a matter really of preference. Next, we have the effects specification. There are 267 effects with the R24 that are grouped into nine effects algorithms, which we have listed. The R20 is set up differently. There are 40 effects groups uh, that are basically grouped into five categories, which we have listed. Next, under specifications, we have the tuner. The R20 has a larger feature set there uh, that you can work with, or should, should I say um, superior functionality when it comes to the tuner. The drum machine is what follows the tuner, and the R24 has 511 patterns in loops. Uh, it, they both, the R20 and R24, use a uh, PCM pulse code uh, modulation uh, for their drum machines, but the R20 only has 150 drum patterns in loops. So the R24 has superior functionality in this category. Next, we have the sampler under specifications. And the R24 um, has one, and <laughs> you can see the specs for that. The R20 does not. Next, we have synthesizers. The R24 does not have one, and the R20 has a frequency modulation eight voice polyphony uh, sampler on board with 18 different sound types, including a drum kit. Next, we have under specifications the metronome, both units have one. And what follows then is the MIDI keyboard uh, compatibility. R24 doesn't have this functionality. R20 does. You can take a USB MIDI keyboard and plug it into the R20 and use that MIDI functionality to manipulate the onboard synthesizer in the R20. Very cool. Next, we have the EQ, and both systems have a three-band onboard EQ, uh, or should I say equalizer. Next, in specifications, both uh, the R24 and the R20 have compression functionality. Now, when it comes to remote, 
the R24 does not have remote uh, functionality to control the unit, but the R20 does. It has a wireless adapter that you can use for that. When it comes to phantom power, the difference between the R20 and R24 is that the R24 has six channel phantom power and the R20 has four channel. The number of mic preamps are the same. And I should note here that I didn't on the chart is that Zoom says that the R20 has the best preamps they've ever put onto a hardware digital multi-track recorder. So the R20 is gonna have superior preamps uh, than that of the R24. Now, if you wanna confirm this, then check out the technical specifications for the units for verification uh, from your end. But that's what Zoom says. Next, for PC connectivity, they both use uh, USB. And for analog inputs, the R24 has eight XLR TRS combo jack inputs, and the R20 has six XLR um, and uh, two XLR quarter inch combo jack inputs. When it comes to outputs, um, that's basically the same on both units. Now, built-in mic uh, microphones. This is a big difference. The R24 has two uh, condenser microphones uh, on board. R20 does not have that feature. Let's move down to USB. Uh, for the R24, it has one mini B-type uh, 2.0 high-speed USB uh, interface and the R20 has one USB Type-C 2.0 interface. Let's look at recording media. This is going to be huge. The R24, uh, you can record up to 32 gigabytes on your SD cards. And with the R20, you can record up to one terabyte max using the SDHC uh, specification. So that is huge as a major difference uh, in recording time. Um, what follows are the faders. Both are the of the faders that exist on both units are basically the same. And what we have next is power. The R24 can operate on six AA batteries and also USB power, uh, as well as a, a power supply. The R20 has a power supply, a 12 volt AC adapter power supply only. And last but not least, we have the height depth, width, and weight of both units. And you'll notice that the R20 is just a little bigger and a little heavier. In summary, both are quality professional units that can produce superior audio. Again, it's important that you know your requirements first before you purchase or upgrade. Just because something may appear to be more advanced doesn't mean it's the right fit for you in the way that you record to be the most productive. Look, the bottom line here is a hardware multi-track recorder that works great for one person may not always be the best solution for another. Well, that's a wrap. If you like this presentation, please give it the thumbs up and click the subscribe button on your screen now to join our group. We have new presentations coming out every seven to 14 days and we would love for you to be a part of our team. Also leave a comment in the comment section below. Let us know what you think about this video and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Spotify. Also, while you're here, listen to some of the music and check out some of the other videos. Let us know what you think about that, especially the playlist because they're designed just for you. Thank you so much for stopping by. We really appreciate it and we look forward to seeing you soon.